Guys, inspirational, humbling. You wowed me tonight. I'm, I'm sure you wowed this audience. Thank you. And Anna, I just want to say thank you. And I want to say thank you to you. I mean, what a fantastic endorsement for a meeting of the worlds of corporate banking and social entrepreneurship. Um, that's what this program is about. And that was wonderful to hear from you tonight as well. So thank you. About 18 months ago, um, and before the mayoral elections, I had the pleasure to uh, meet uh, with George and over a drink, we discussed shared interests, predominantly social entrepreneurship. And we found ourselves asking the question about why in this incredible social entrepreneurial city of Bristol, there wasn't a school for social entrepreneurs. As someone who has been through the program myself, on that day, I vowed that on leaving the community that I was living in at the time, I would investigate setting one up in Bristol. And George wanted me to keep in touch, let him know how that went. Lo and behold, within a couple of weeks, it was announced that the Dartington School for Social Entrepreneurs was going to set up a school here in Bristol. Serendipity? Destiny? So here I am, 18 months later, um, as the first learning manager. And here are our very inspirational 17 graduates who today become fellows and will join a wide network of fellows across not just the UK, but the world. So I'm absolutely delighted that Mayor George Ferguson is here with us tonight to celebrate your achievements and to give you your certificates. Welcome to the stage, Mayor George Ferguson. Yeah, I was going to say some words after, but I'll quickly get them over with. Um, it's, uh, I didn't hear all, but all that I heard was brilliant. And uh, it makes me really proud to be, uh, to be mayor of this city because all the good things, and I often say this, happen with individuals with sparky ideas out there in the community. It's not the stuff that comes from the centre. That's what makes us that brilliant and happy city. And... Um, but there's a long way to go, and there's a lot of, lot of serious work to be done. And it's good that we have been named uh, a city of uh, social enterprise, one of only two in the UK. Um, but I think to justify that, we've got to do so much more. And uh, the European um, Green Capital has been mentioned. It's a wonderful opportunity to to promote food projects such as was being pro promoted tonight, fish and everything else. It's a wonderful opportunity for social enterprise to thrive in this city. So I ask that whatever your enterprise, whether it be in fitness or banking or whatever it might be, that to be really part of Bristol, that it greens itself and it does it with a smile. Anyway, I'm uh, delighted now to present to all you wonderful people some faces that I recognise because we are really quite a small village. Okay, so um, the first certificate, and we're going to be really quick because I always think that these things are better, efficient and quick, um, is awarded to Neely Conquest for the successful completion of the Bristol School for Social Entrepreneurs. Um,
and the next. And I'm only going now to read out the names. Um, Nikki Forsyth. Miriam Akhtar. <laughs> Janine Charles. <laughs> Matt Connolly. Eve Malster. <laughs> Alice Marie Archer. <laughs> Nira Omar A. Justice Williams. <laughs> MBE. And there will be more of them for some of these others. Yeah. Yeah. Rob Wall. <laughs> Jackie Bent. Dean Taylor. <laughs> Taryn Castle. <laughs> Chris Bond. Danielle Bala. <laughs> oh. Daniel. <laughs> Pretty. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Paul Hassan. <laughs> Thank you all. That was the quickest. Good evening, everyone. My name is Dirk de Gruder. I'm the director at Bristol School for Social Entrepreneurs and Dartington School for Social Entrepreneurs. And I won't say much. I know you've been sitting for a long time and you're hungry. We've got refreshments, drinks for you, and we've got a wonderful exhibition. And there's time to meet the students and make all your pledges count. So thank you, George. And I just want to say a few thank yous. And the first one to Bristol City Council from my very first conversations with Ted Fowler at the City Council, and right up to George as the social entrepreneur in the City Council. It's been very supportive all the way along, and we wouldn't be here without the City's support. So thank you, George, and thank you to the City Council for bringing us to Bristol. But this program wouldn't have happened without the support from the European um, Development Fund. It wouldn't have happened without the generous support from Lloyds Banking Group Nominate Trust and the Big Lottery Fund. So our funders, thank you very much. But it would certainly not have happened without the great team that makes up Darting School for Social Entrepreneurs and Bristol School. And I've got... Uh, thank you. So you've, you've seen Rosie. If you come, Rosie.
As Ronnie was saying, it was serendipity because we were looking for an inspirational program manager here in Bristol and Rosie was looking for the school. So we found each other and Rosie has been inspirational just in handling his program, handling a group of very inspirational, very creative and very individual entrepreneurs and really taking them through this program. So with a firm hand and a very warm and caring heart. Thank you, Rosie. Behind the scenes, and sometimes not so behind the scenes, but everywhere, we've got a wonderful person, Sam Haydock, who manages all of us, administers the program, keeps everything running, and has been a phenomenal help just to get us to this day. Sam, please. So thank you students, thank you for your inspirational presentations. We've got uh, upstairs on the top floor, we've got some food set up and an exhibition. So please use the time to really kind of engage with the students, um, find the ones that really speak to you and just get involved. As George was saying, this is a city with a sparkle in its eye. So these entrepreneurs will enrich the scene and you can help them do that. Thank you very much.